Each one blames the other, so someone is still not telling the truth. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 23 worst cheating scandals of each year. The Spanish team were, were I think, laughed at and, and labeled the most unsporting team in history. I mean, unsporting is the wrong word, it's a, it's a euphemism for cheating. What do you think is the biggest sports controversy of all time? Let us know below. 2000, the Spanish Paralympics team's secret. At the 2000 Summer Paralympics in Sydney, Australia, Spain was on fire. Their basketball team, consisting of athletes with intellectual disabilities, swept the competition and earned gold. After beating the Russians in the final, they posed for a victorious team shot and were splashed all over the front page of Marca, the biggest paper in Spain. Team member Carlos Rigoborda knew a startling truth about the team. As it turns out, he was a journalist who was recruited to join without anyone asking about his medical history. While working with the team, Rigoborda found that the majority of his teammates didn't have any intellectual disabilities either. At the beginning, I thought that it was totally impossible for someone to be capable of carrying out something like this. It just seemed completely incredible. And that was the reason why I got involved and joined the team. All his claims were swiftly confirmed after he exposed the team's dishonesty. In the aftermath, Spain was stripped of the basketball goal. It would take the International Paralympic Committee nine years to craft a system that would prevent a scandal like that from happening again. 2001, a Little League lie. During the 2001 Little League World Series, the young Danny Almonte was being celebrated for his skills. He threw the competition's first perfect game since 1979 and helped get his team to third place. However, Almonte's 5'8 stature had some people questioning if he was really in the 12 or under age bracket. While the Little League president and his father insisted that there was no foul play, Sports Illustrated reporters dug deeper. Journalists eventually discovered that Almonte's parents had lied and said their son was two years younger than he was. This reveal led to the president of the league and the player's dad being permanently banned from the Little League. On top of that, the winning record for Danny Almonte's team was retroactively erased. 2002, not the face. Imagine you're in a big soccer tournament and you're 2-1 up in the last few moments. Do you play normally until the end, or do you cause the biggest controversy of the tournament? Well, if you chose the latter, then you'd identify with Brazil's Rivaldo. He was receiving a ball from Turkey's Hakan Unsal when it hit his leg. However, Rivaldo acted as if the ball had rocketed towards his nose. Thanks to his performance, his opponent Unsal was removed from the game. What Rivaldo has essentially done is, is taken the decision he's going to try and get someone sent off in a World Cup and just have no shame, no guilt, presumably. I've never spoken to Rivaldo about it. It might be wrapped with guilt for all I know. Replays that showed Rivaldo had clearly exaggerated the incident led to the players having to pay a fine to the league. Despite being called out for this public incident, he later celebrated Brazil winning the World Cup that year. 2003, Sosa's corked up bat. MLB batting legend Sammy Sosa faced heavy scrutiny after he stepped up to the plate for the Chicago Cubs and won fateful game. During his first inning, he snapped his bat while hitting. While breaking a bat isn't unusual in the sport, the fact that there was cork in the remains of the equipment was. Since the material can make it easier for a player to earn runs, it was illegal to use during a professional game. This fact got Sosa removed from this game instantly. The legendary player insisted the corked bat had somehow ended up in his hands without his knowledge. Well, Bob Rosenberg talked with Tim McClellan and he said when the bat split, there was cork in the bat. That's what he's saying. That's why Sammy Sosa is ejected from the game. While he had to set out nearly 10 games for this incident, no other corked bats were found in his possession. It's been a tough week for me. Once again, I just uh, want to apologize to the, everybody up there the uh, mistake that I make. 2004, the Apito Dorado, aka Golden Whistle Scandal. In 2004, Portuguese soccer was rocked when 16 officials and referees were arrested as part of a massive corruption scheme. Known as the Golden Whistle in English, this investigation aimed to determine if a group of people had been secretly influencing who won and lost certain games. One of the biggest suspects in the ordeal was FC Porto's chairman, Jorge Nuno Pinta da Costa. He was accused of offering cash bribes and adult companions to refs in exchange for making sure games ended the way he wanted them to. Former Professional Football League president Valentim Loredo was also accused of wrongdoing. After years of continuing the investigation that started in 2004, 13 people were convicted of various crimes. 2005, Balco's bad connection to baseball. After an extensive investigation, the infamous Balco scandal came to a head in 2005. The Bay Area Laboratory Cooperative was accused of supplying performance-enhancing substances to various athletes. The sport that was arguably hit hardest by the scandal was baseball. 
During the investigation, personal trainer Greg Anderson was accused of getting these steroids to star players. Famous athletes like Barry Bonds and Jason Giambi were also pulled into the center of this substance scandal. After the dust cleared, Anderson was found guilty on two charges related to the Balco scandal. Meanwhile, fans would go on to question if a few of their heroes had failed to follow the rules. He was that good. One of those guys you looked at and said, that's a Hall of Famer. Well, a Hall of Fame career perhaps, but the choice that he made to use performance-enhancing drugs, to me that does not define a Hall of Famer. 2006, an Italian soccer scandal, aka the Calcio Poli. In 2006, it was discovered that certain Italian soccer professionals had used shady methods to get ahead. Reports indicated that officials had made sure to get referees in their matches that would be good to them. This scandal exposed some of Italy's biggest groups as being dishonest. The Juventus Football Club a group who had won two first place spots in that many years were severely penalized. They were stripped of their wins and lost their league standing. In the end, other teams received a combination of points deductions, fines, and bans from competitions for a season. As for individuals, many incriminating officials and refs were either barred from the sport or chose to resign. 2007. Donaghy makes bad basketball bets. From 1994 to 2007, Tim Donaghy was one of the leading referees in the NBA. During that time, he was in charge of nearly 800 games, but he suddenly resigned when news came that the FBI was investigating him. Soon, Donaghy was arrested. As it turns out, he had been putting bets on the matches he worked on. In particular, he was manipulating the point spread to win sizable sums of cash. Donaghy tried to allege that NBA officials were convincing other referees to make games more exciting by making certain calls. However, no evidence of this was found. The basketball ref pled guilty to the charges and spent over a year in prison for his actions. His co-workers would have known. The owners would have known players would have known they would have called attention to it then which was the reason why Tim was saying well there were other people involved and he believes that it went all the way up the chain 2008 a calculated f1 crash do you still count that race as a proper race victory for yourself yes I do even though the team effect effectively manufactured it well I think uh, that's a uh, uh, interpretation Fans were shocked at the 2008 Singapore Grand Prix when PK Jr. suddenly spun into the barricade and crashed his car after 13 laps. Thankfully, he walked away without significant injuries. At the same time, PK Jr.'s teammate Fernando Alonso moved up from the 15th position and won the race. Many spectators wondered if this dramatic series of events had been a mere coincidence. While PK Jr. initially shot down claims of shady tactics, he changed his tune after becoming estranged from his 2018. He revealed that team principal Flavio Briatore and engineer Pat Simmons pushed him to intentionally hit the wall. While both the conspirators were forced to leave F1 for a while, they were later able to return in different positions. 2009 Bloodgate while facing Leinster during the second half of the 2009 European Rugby Champions Cup, the Harlequins found themselves behind. And after using up their substitutions, a player named Tom Williams had to leave because he was bleeding. Who punched Tom Williams in the mouth? Tom Williams? This gave the Harlequins a break because they were allowed to send another player on the field. However, the injury wasn't just a matter of convenient timing. It turned out Williams had used a blood capsule to fake an accident. Additionally, the club doctor even helped create an injury to sell the story. To make matters worse, an investigation revealed this wasn't even the first time the team attempted this. This scandal led to Williams being temporarily suspended and other Harlequin officials receiving short-term bans. 2010, Corrupt Cricket. Yeah, they've all been organized, okay? So the, the, the first ball of the third over. In 2010, a journalist went undercover to expose a huge cricket scandal. They found that an agent, Mazar Majid, could predict that certain events would happen in a match between Pakistan and England. When everything played exactly like the agent had anticipated, the investigation went public. Team captain Salman Butt and players Mohammad Asif and Mohammad Amir were all found guilty of taking bribes to perform certain actions during games. Each member of the trio received massive bans from cricket. Additionally, numerous people involved in the gambling syndicate were arrested. Majid, Butt, Asif, and Amir each received prison sentences for their involvement in this gambling scandal. 2011. Robles hands over his victory. After having won gold at the 2008 Summer Olympics in the 110-meter hurdles, Cuba's Dibron Robles was ready to race in the 2011 World Championships in athletics. He and competitor Liu Zhang of China were next to each other for what promised to be an exciting matchup. As the race was coming to a close, the Chinese athlete suddenly struggled to keep his rhythm. Robles seemingly took advantage of this random slip and won. Oh, he makes a mess of it over the last hurdle. He can't believe it. Robles was interrupted as well. However, the replay appeared to show the Cuban deliberately reaching into Liu Zhang's lane to disrupt the race. The footage caused Robles to be disqualified. Although Cuban officials tried to protest the call, the decision stood and the gold went to the U.S.'s Jason Richardson. 
2012, Biking Betrayal. Yes or no, did you ever take banned substances to enhance your cycling performance? Yes. There was a time when it was extremely common to see people wearing yellow rubber bracelets proclaiming Livestrong to support the cancer organization created by Lance Armstrong. Everyone knew him as an honest athlete that had famously beaten cancer twice and become one of the most successful cyclists ever. But people wanted to throw away their bracelets after 2012. That was the year where the United States Anti-Doping Agency officially charged him for running an elaborate operation that helped teammates secure performance-enhancing substances. Shortly after the news broke, he was stripped of seven Tour de France titles. He was also banned from competing in the sport for life. UCI will ban Lance Armstrong from cycling, and UCI will strip him of his seven Tour de France titles. Lance Armstrong has no place in cycling. 2013, misjudged judges. Olympic judges are meant to be a pillar of honesty and knowledge. However, some were accused of being less than honorable in 2013. Those who are looking to become judges have to take tests. While the International Gymnastics Federation was reviewing the submitted exams, they found that a lot of papers looked the same. Not only did multiple test takers get the same questions right, but the errors were also similar across the board. The Federation examined incidents at testing facilities in Russia, Spain, and Romania, and found concerns across the board. Numerous judges were initially expelled or suspended. However, many got off with just a warning when the evidence failed to prove they cheated. 2014, Pineda's pitching gets tarnished. When cameras in Boston appeared to catch Michael Pineda with the mysterious residue on his hand, he shook off the accusation. But there was no way he could avoid being called out for another questionable incident. After Pineda had a rough start to a game against the Red Sox, he notably improved in the second inning. This is when officials noticed a suspicious substance on his neck. Upon further inspection, umpires confirmed Pineda was using pine tar, a material that is illegal for pitchers to use during games. Since there was no way the pitcher could explain it appearing in such an in-your-face place, he had to leave the field. And they're throwing him out of the game. He went to his neck and he said there's something on his neck, so Pineda is being tossed. Pineda wouldn't be allowed to return for 10 games after this pine tar incident. This is the past, so I don't want to talk about that. So I know I'm making a mistake today, and that's it. 2015, Deflategate. When former Patriots quarterback Tom Brady faced the Indianapolis Colts in the playoffs, his strong performance in the first half was questioned due to the discovery of an underinflated football. This is the play that led to the discovery of what is being dubbed Deflategate. This second quarter play has led to many questioning the integrity of the AFC champs. This incident would only be the start of a larger investigation that was launched into whether the Patriots had done this before and if Brady was directly involved. Months of extensive discussions and experts weighing in passed before a final decision was made. I get the snap, I drop back, I throw the ball. You know, I grip it and, and I try to throw the ball. That's the extent of the, uh, you know, me touching the football. So I don't sit there and, you know, try to squeeze it and determine that. If that's what uh, the Colts want to do, then that's what they want to do. But In the end, the NFL found Brady and the Patriots responsible for underinflated balls. While the quarterback had to set out four games, the team was penalized with a loss of draft picks and a million-dollar fine. 2016, widespread cheating for the Rio Olympics. The news stories about the 2016 Summer Olympics in Rio de Janeiro were nearly overshadowed by a wave of shocking scandals. A Kenyan coach was caught trying to help a competitor avoid a drug test. Additionally, two weightlifters and a swimmer from various nations were all caught with illegal substances in their system. But it was Russia that faced the biggest scandal. Officials found evidence that there was a system in place to prevent athletes who took performance-enhancing substances from being identified. The IAAF banned Russian athletes after an investigation uncovered state-sponsored doping and a cover-up of positive tests. By the end of the investigation, 111 athletes were banned from the event and 46 medals were stripped from the team over the years. A later report claimed 1,000 Russian athletes may have been involved. 2017, Astros spy signs. For years, the Houston Astros had been accused of illegal sign stealing. In baseball, this means one team is using tech to record an opponent's pitching signal so their hitters know what to expect. The Astros were a team that was strongly linked to sign stealing as they headed into the World Series. After winning the championship, a pitcher confirmed that a camera was indeed used to capture signs during games. Furthermore, the Astros used secret audio cues to convey the information to the pitchers. Change up. Bang, bang. That sequence is so upsetting. There's no way that is done without technology. These shocking reveals led to multiple officials on the team being suspended or fired and steep fines for the Astros. On top of that, the team's reputation was severely damaged. I am really sorry about the choices that were made by my team 
by the organization, and by me. I have learned from this, and I hope to regain the trust of baseball fans. 2018 Sandpaper Scandal In 2018, during the third cricket test match against South Africa, a player named Cameron Bancroft was seen rubbing something onto the ball. Despite trying to conceal it, umpires questioned what was going on. Bancroft insisted it was just material for his sunglasses and the game continued but it was later discovered that he used sandpaper to alter the flight of the ball when it was bold. See, by keeping one side of the ball shiny and smooth, and letting the other side rough up, the ball, when bold in the right way, can move through the air towards the rough side. That's because air flows differently over each side of the ball, making it really difficult for batsmen to play. An investigation found Bancroft, Captain Steve Smith, and Vice Captain David Warner guilty of ball tampering. While Bancroft was suspended from cricket for nine months, Smith and Warner were each forced to step back for a full year. I made a serious error of judgment, and I now understand the consequences. I am extremely disappointed and regret my actions. I'll do everything I can to make up for my mistake and the damage it's caused. 2019, Golf Gaff. This was his practice swing, and you can see when he took the club back, he definitely took some sand back behind it. Now you can, gra you can ground the club there. He not only did it once, he did it twice. Golfer Patrick Reed has been at the center of a few questionable golf moments, but his biggest issue came during the 2019 Hero World Challenge. While leading the competition, Reed found his ball in a bunker. As he practiced his swing, he did something that landed him in hot water. Reed was spotted brushing sand away from behind the ball with his club so he could get a better swing going. They penalized him with two extra strokes for his nefarious behavior, while broadcasters and other pros showed their disapproval. However, Reed claimed he didn't intend to skirt the rules. In the end, Reed came third in the competition. 2020, horrendous horse scandal. Horse trainer Jason Service is best known for his work with the championship winning horse, Maximum Security. But that record didn't look as great when he and 27 other people were arrested for their involvement in a doping conspiracy. After Service had a horse named Maximum Security rapidly rise up the leaderboard, people got suspicious. Although the trainer claimed expert methods were the trick, people weren't buying it. Officials eventually discovered evidence that he gave the cult potentially life-threatening substances. In the wake of these revelations, Service ended up in a lot of legal hot water. Service was one of the trainers indicted on federal charges for trafficking in illegal drugs that were given to their horses, including Maximum Security. Fortunately, Maximum Security was relocated to a different trainer after the news broke. 2021, Pitching Problems. Throughout 2021, the MLB had a massive crackdown on use of foreign substances for pitchers. This came after tons of complaints and numbers suggested that hitting was down to shocking lows. After suggestions were made that the majority of pitchers may have been using some sort of advantage, the MLB uniformly decided to stop this practice in its tracks. Major League Baseball adding a new rule and procedure in the middle of the season has upset or annoyed pretty much everyone. Players were warned that they could be sent out for 10 games if they were caught using something they shouldn't. Any pitcher caught will now receive a 10-day suspension. They'll still be paid. Teams will also not be allowed to replace those suspended players on the active roster. Since this mandate required umpires to check pitchers more frequently, there was increased tension between players and officials. Two pitchers were also suspended during the year for suspicion they violated the new policy. It's safe to say the pitching world wasn't the same after 2021. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. 2022, Checkmate. This is a target attack, and if you look at my games, this is not, it's, it has nothing to do with my games. A chess master named Magnus Carlsen brought a lot of eyes to his competition world with a strong accusation. After losing to American Grandmaster Hans Niemann, he pulled out of a tournament the following day. On the way out, Carlsen issued a tweet that suggested something shady had occurred. Niemann chose to deny all accusations of wrongdoing in official play while also admitting to cheating in non-consequential matches when he was younger. After another match between the two ended abruptly, Carlsen directly accused his opponent of being a cheater. He pointed to Neiman's unusual mannerisms during the game he lost to the American. These statements eventually prompted Chess.com to do an investigation that suggested Neiman may have cheated over 100 times on their website. In the wake of these revelations, several matches he was set to play were cancelled. 
Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.